today's tech tip, we're going to discuss setting up a sizing die. While there are many ways to set up a sizing die, which we will go over in great detail in later videos, today we're going to set up a sizing die for a full length resize to return the cartridge back to the SAMI minimum. Before we get started, it's important to note that this sizing die has been completely disassembled and properly degreased, and it's an exceptionally important step when using sizing dies. If the grease is not cleaned out of that sizing area, you could hydraulically stick the case inside the die. Before we get started, we're also going to take the one shot and properly lube our cases. To do so, shake the can vigorously. I like to have my cases on the case head with the mouth facing up. You can then take the lube and spray at a 45 degree angle across one side and come over and hit the other side. That allows the lubricant to get inside the case mouth to get on the neck, on the shoulder, and then all the way down the body. Another important note when using one shot is that it does take some time to dry. Approximately 60 to 90 seconds is necessary for the propellants to evaporate off and leave you with the good dry lubricant. With the sizing die, once it's been properly degreased, we're going to set the zip spindle depth. The proper depth is when the decapping pin extends out approximately 3 16 to 1 8 of an inch. So once we have our proper depth set, we'll make sure that the expander is recessed in. We'll go ahead and tighten that spindle lock. And the way I personally recommend doing it is to take a wrench and put it on the die body itself and take another wrench and secure the top spindle lock. That way you ensure that that spindle is properly locked in place. We'll now take our lock and load bushing and install it into the press. Now there's several different ways to adjust a sizing die that we will discuss in later videos. For this video, we are going to set this die to size full length and return the cartridge back to SAMI minimum. To do so, simply install the correct shell holder, run your handle to the bottom of the stroke. You will now thread this die into the press until resistance is felt. The resistance is the mouth of the die contacting your shell holder. At that point, that die is properly set for a full length resize. Simply secure the lock ring, and that die needs no further adjustment. At that point, our cases have had sufficient time to dry. We'll install a case. Nice, smooth operation. 